this is the continuation of the last tutorial that we did where we had used retrofit to fetch the api and display the name of an album and a recycler view so and now what we will do is now it gets a little interesting now now we will display the image of the album in a recycler view so for that first we need to implement two libraries and these are the libraries so let's just add these in the dependencies sync it this password is for showing the image and this okay http3 download is for downloading the image from the image url okay so i've already added this image view in the first tutorial now go to your custom adapter here and now we will first of all we just need to email initialize the image view and get the image view that will show the image so in the holder we have this image thing Okay, I think I did this already when I was trying some things. So you just add the reference to this image, this image view that we had in this layout in your find view in your folder. And now let's just show the image from the URL. So we go to Picasso.builder. Picasso Builder. And this takes a context, so we need a context. We need to pass a context when we are initializing this adapter. So, see, I've already done this here, but we need to keep it in a variable. So, I'll just do context, context, and just initialize this thing. Now, it's already passed here. Now, we need to add a downloader to this so that the image can be downloaded. Like name okay three HTTP download and a downloader HTTP three downloader. Sorry for that. I'm in a rush. <laughs> and here we just pass the context again. Now now you just load the image. Builder dot. Sorry, we need to build it first and then load the image. And here we just get the image URL. And the image URL is in this data list. So <coughs> sorry dot get position and get now we can get the uh, url or the thumbnail url but since i think the url is the size is a little larger so let's just do thumbnail url and into what where do we want to show it this is the target so we want to show it in the holders image view also we can add okay, this uh, before the image before the before we specify a target so now we can specify what will be shown until the image is built so we can say placeholder now what do I have I'll show anything just for now for the purpose of an example okay so we have these two things so I'll just show background and also and if there's an error what do we want to show let's say I'll show this thing if there's an error and if everything works well, this should be shown. This URL should be shown. The image in this URL should be shown in this image view. Now, I think that's all. I think we can just uh, run the project and try it. So let's just run it in my emulator. Yes, yes, I guys, Xiaomi Mi 9. But I just run it in the emulator so that this can be recorded. Okay. So this is pretty simple. Okay, let just let's uh, let it install. All right, all right. I think this is done now. So let's just check this out. Oh, where is it? Okay, this is loading now. See, now this this is a placeholder. Now it is being the image is being shown after they are downloaded. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. This is the placeholder, and the image will be shown eventually after it is loaded. Now I think we don't have any errors in this uh, in the URLs of these images. Otherwise, uh, we would be showing something else. What was it? If there was an error, this launcher would be shown. All right. So this is it. It's pretty simple. Now, we have learned how to get the APIs and we have learned how to show the images from the URL and it's pretty easy 
uh, as you might have already seen and in the next tutorial we will we will learn how you can upload images to a server through an api so if you guys liked it or if, if you think this has helped you a bit please subscribe it helps the channel a lot and also happy coding if you have any problems just comment them in the section below i will be happy to help till next time peace